Hello viewers, today for repair attempt, because I have no idea if this is going to be successful or not, we have the living room receiver. This is the Sony FHB50CD receiver. This has got some problems with the audio inputs. These two ports here. Um, this I think is the top one. One of these I lost completely uh, signal. For the last couple of months it's been getting flaky. For a while I was able to hold it at a certain angle and it would work. Actually what I did was I, I put a clothespin on there like that and that bought me several months of operation. Uh, but then more recently it's, it's been getting really finicky and then yesterday it, it completely quit on one side. So now it's time to try to figure out what the problem is. I didn't want to mess with it earlier because it doesn't seem like this would come apart very easily and so if I break it in the process of trying to do the repair I would have been kind of annoyed but you know because sometimes when something's flaky it'll end up operating fine for weeks months or years uh, before it really has a breakdown so I didn't want to mess with it and then break it meanwhile it could have kept working for a while but now that it's completely busted and does not work on one side, it's uh, time to attempt to repair. So, we have screws everywhere on this thing. I'm not sure where the correct place to start is. Um, we got an arrow pointing at that screw. That screw, that screw. Chances are those are the ones that take the side off. So let's get a good sized bit. That's not a good size for this application. fit. Now there's also a problem with the compact disc player that has not uh, that recently stopped working. It used to work. Um, I'm not going to worry about that today because I could just play compact discs in the computer. Um, so anyway, that's a separate problem for a separate time. I also just want to get the computer input to work again because that's what I typically use. Now it doesn't seem like anything has loosened up really. Oh, maybe a little bit. I think that the case might come off all in one piece perhaps. That's going to be my prediction. Oh, they're all different screws. What a pain in the rear. That's never a good sign when you get all different screws. See, this is all loose here. It's not the way it should be. I don't know why it got like that, because it's not like I sit here and unplug this often. I probably only unplugged it two or three times in the last eight months since I've had it in the living room.
Oh, well, I guess I might be mistaken. This might come apart very easily. Yep, that it does. Now, of course, whether or not this is easily repaired is still to be determined. Well, here's my problem with the tape player. That belt is just totally shot. So that's why the... Oh, gross. That's why the cassette doesn't work. Um, that's another issue with this machine, but I'm not... Uh, I'm not going to get into that today, because... I don't really use that function very often. What I use often is the input. So, um, I don't really see what the problem would be. I don't see... Oh, here we go. It's these two joints right there. Alright, this should be easy. Both of those joints are uh, are just loose, so hopefully, I guess those two down there might be the others. I guess so. Hopefully, I could just reflow these two and uh, fix that. So I'm gonna get my soldering iron out. See what we can do here. All right, the iron is up to temperature. I feel like I should probably use my uh, use a hot air reflow gun instead of, of actually soldering it like this, but we'll give this a shot. I think it should be fine. And it looks pretty good. All right, that should do it. Seems to be pretty solid now. So, um, I mean, if that doesn't fix it, I'm not really sure what would. So, I'm going to say let's just go ahead and put it back together. And take it upstairs. To test it because I, I really can't fathom that that doesn't fix it. Why well, it's warm? I guess that's. I wonder if that's always on. I guess it would be. was going a bit too smoothly.
Now this screw here grabs this this component so we're going to have to be very delicate as this goes in as to not break anything. came under so much resistance. It's kind of strange. All right, let's bring this upstairs and see what we have in terms of operation. There might be more to this story. I just went to plug this back in and I'm looking at the audio cable here, right? And something doesn't seem quite right about this audio cable. The red side appears to have some kind of a piece of plastic over the the tip that I can't get it off. It's like it's stuck. Now, I really cannot fathom wait this situation where did that come from what is that I have no clue so that may be forever a mystery but what's not a mystery is that that needs to come off in order for this to have a shot at working so regardless of the obscurity let's get that off so that we can check it Jeez, that is really stuck on here. Hmm. Okay, so now I understand what that was. It looks like this might be the inside of the cable, and then the outer shield is broke, and maybe the outer shield is inside the socket on the on the equipment like this metal piece oh boy hmm well that could uh, that would definitely explain why half the audio stopped working so the the obviously there was an issue with the equipment as we saw that was coming off the board but we might also be having a cable failure as well which I know I did check at one point it wasn't always like that that just happened the last time that I unplugged it but that's uh, that's very strange well I have to find another cable now and uh, hopefully the cable fits in there because there might be an additional piece that's stuck in the machine that's not supposed to be there well, in fact I'm almost certain that there is or there's got to be, there's a piece somewhere, because that, that metal part from the cord has got to be somewhere, and it's not just going to be randomly sitting somewhere, it's going to be inside a plug somewhere. That's the question now, is which piece of equipment? 
I have a hunch it's not this one because, well, I don't have the thing here now, but I plugged it into both sides and it fit okay. Let me find another cord. I just grabbed this cord from the kitchen amplifier because I know it works and it looks like it's in good condition, so. See, that fits fine. And that was a little, a little sketchy. I think that might have the extra piece in there. The lighting is not good enough in this room to be able to tell, but it might be there. All right, let me get the rest of this hooked up and then we'll check it. Okay, it's back in place, it's connected. This cord is way too long, so I'll have to get a different one. But uh, just for a test, let's see what happens. I have not checked it yet, so we're gonna share this testing moment together. Aesthetic. So this problem is solved. That was a nice easy fix. Very happy with that. Just need to get a new cable. I'd like to know what on earth <laughs> happened <laughs> which transpired with that other cable, but I have a feeling the world may never know.